Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Bill Moore back again with another uh, hot sauce review from one of my favorite companies and that is Big Fats Hot Sauce All Natural and this one is called Vega Mojo Peach Serrano, Serrano Hot Sauce. Alright, well I've uh, opened this up because I've cooked something up. I'll show you guys here in a minute. But uh, just love Jeremy Walsh's uh, sauces. I love what he does with spices. Uh, they're very flavorful, very aromatic, so just love it. This is another one of his uh, new ones. So let me go ahead and read the side of the bottle, and we'll get right into this one. It says, um, Vega, noun, brightest star in the constellation Lyra, and vertex of the summer triangle in the northern skies. Okay, that's nice to know. Mojo, noun, a magic charm or spell, magical power. A vernal nebula springs to life as sweet peaches and Vidalia onions frolic together in perfect harmony. Heavenly Serrano peppers then bestow their sublime, subtle heat to create Vega Mojo, the celestial magic of summer. Just love his uh, use of words on the hot sauces. Big Fat's got your number. Of course, this is another one of his newer ones that he does not number like one of eight, two of eight, and so forth. But uh, he's got, uh, usually this is a good uh, indication of what the heat's going to be. He's got this rated there with just one of these um, eight circles, so it should be a fairly mild sauce. Uh, low in sodium, only 25 milligrams. But let me read the ingredients. We start off, with, of course, with peaches, Vidalia onions, Serrano pepper mash, which is Serrano's and vinegar, cider vinegar, lemon juice, garlic, cilantro, sea salt, cinnamon, no artificial additives or preservatives. Color of the sauce may vary to natural ingredients. And then he's got some instructions in here you need to follow. Number one, shake it, use it, love it, and repeat. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get into this one. This is probably one of his more um, thinner, uh, definitely vinegar-based sauces. And you can just see the spices in there. And uh, when you smell it, the aroma on this one is you do get a, a tartness from the apple cider vinegar. So this one has more of a vinegar aroma coming through on it. But you do smell the cinnamon. Um, that is coming up from the, uh, the bottom. Yeah, you definitely smell the spices in here, just like on all of his sauces. Um, you smell the sweetness kind of from the peaches. You smell a little bit of the onion flavor, but you smell the spices. Cinnamon's definitely coming through on this one, but uh, this has a tartness to it uh, coming from the apple cider, or the, not apple cider, well, cider vinegar and the uh, lemon juice. Smell a little bit of the garlic. Uh, don't know about the cilantro, but it, if it's there, it's just, uh, you know, kind of in the background a little bit, but uh, let's go ahead and put this on a spoon. Alright, here we go. So once again, this is definitely um, more one of his more looser sauces. Mm. Nice peachy flavor, not too strong in peaches. Vinegar, if you're not a fan of vinegar, the vinegar, the cider vinegar flavor is coming up a little bit more in this one than a lot of his other sauces. But I'm a vinegar fan. Uh, I like that, but you can taste the uh, peaches, you can taste the, uh, the flavor of the serrano peppers. Um, you can taste the onions, of course, the Vidalia onions, very popular here in the Carolinas, love that. Um, and you get those spices that Jeremy is such a master at blending uh, with the, uh, the cinnamon and the, uh, the garlic, cilantro. So uh, I don't think there's a whole lot of spices in here. He's listing everything, garlic, cilantro, sea salt, and cinnamon. But you get that nice tartness from the vinegar and the lime juice. So a nice, fresh tartness. Peachy, onion, serrano peppers. And then that cinnamon is really coming through. So a pretty good tasting sauce. And uh, what I did is I, I find um, fruit-based hot sauces um, work well with fish. I just love doing something like this. And here's some grilled salmon. This is the uh, Vega Mojo grilled salmon filet on top of a bed of brown rice. Doesn't that look good, everybody? So basically what I did is just season the salmon with salt and pepper and then put a little bit of it on this. I didn't marinate it, just kind of use this as a finishing sauce. Put a couple of good applications on here when I was grilling up this salmon. So let's go ahead and check this out. 
and just got a nice glaze on there. It really looks good. So let's check this out. That salmon, let me show you how this looks. It came out pretty good, nice and flaky. All right, here we go. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on top of this here. Okay, let's check it out. Mmm. Mmm. Really works well on the salmon. Fruit based, got the peppers, got the garlic, got the onion, got the cinnamon. I mean, I think Jeremy can make cinnamon or curry. Curry's not in here, of course, but he can make those very bold spices work well in anything. But uh, another excellent sauce. I like this a lot. Uh, I think it's good um, as a dipping sauce. I think it would be awesome in salads. Uh, because of the lightness to it, because of the uh, the vinegar tartness to it, I think it would work well with salads. Put it on uh, sliced cucumbers or sliced tomatoes. Um, use it on grilled fish, chicken, pork, uh, but just a good uh, all-around hot sauce. So on flavor, I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10 for flavor. And on heat, very mild, very, very mild. Um, so I would give it just a... Um, one or two, I was thinking, so I'll just give it a one out of 10, not picking up too much heat on this. One out of 10 for heat on Big Fats, Vega, Mojo, Peach Serrano, Hot Sauce. Uh, Jeremy, thank you very much for sending this. I really do appreciate it. Great job. Everybody, please check out their complete line of sauces. Uh, highly recommended. Big Fats, so uh, you can find them on Facebook, and the website is simply bigfatshotsauce.com. Dot com. And remember, Big Fats has got your number. All right, we'll see you next time, guys. Until then, enjoy the burn.